Kick enough to get your boy the conversation today. Coming at you is for tour episode eight or nine, I believe. And today, I really had a episode before this, but I was doing editing and I just thought this is lame. Like I need to show you the cool stuff, like the class quest and whatnot, and showing you a couple side quests, and that means I can progress through this series twice as fast. Not showing you the boring side quest. So let's get into this. I'm gonna skip to the first cutscene of the episode. The Republic will have no choice but to surrender. You return to me as a hero of the Empire, my son. Our victory is complete. I wouldn't count on that. What's this, Tarnis? A loose end? For shame. Have you come to die, Jedi? Don't do this, Tarnas. You can still surrender. You'll forgive me if I don't offer you the same opportunity. Channel your rage, my son. Don't let this Jedi steal your moment of triumph. Your blood flows through my veins, father. I cannot fail. Die for this, Master. I'll see to it personally. You have no idea what you've unleashed, Jedi. There's no place in the galaxy to hide from my wrath. I've sworn to protect the Republic. I took no pleasure in your son's death. I will inflict unimaginable suffering on your people. Billions will die because of you. We already control your secret weapon facilities. All that power is ours now. My son's death will be avenged on the entire Republic, and you will bow down before I let you die. You've clearly lost your mind. Tell your pathetic masters that Darth Umbral has returned. This time, there will be no mercy. Such a charmer. I miss him already. The planet prison is officially scrap metal. Looks like we saved Coruscant. Now we have a new problem. Darth Angrel. At least we won't get bored. Much as I'm enjoying these toxic ruins, maybe we should get back to the Senate Tower? So here I'm back at the Senate Tower. Gotta go speak to the genius General Sar Jar Var Sutra. But yeah, I just defeated Lord Tarnas and disabled the planet prison, so the first stupid Republic super weapon is out of the way. <laughs> Seriously. They need it. I don't know how many more. All I know is that they have a lot more of these stupid weapons. I have to go to a whole bunch of countries and a whole bunch of different planets and destroy it, so it's pretty dumb. But here we go. I'm going to go talk to General Varsutra. And yeah, Lewandowski, level 17. Last time I saw you, I was about level 15. So I did do a flashpoint, and that's how I got so close as I- No one saw this coming, Master Satil. Not even the Jedi Council. We sensed it for weeks, General. If you'd told us of your secret project, we might have averted this disaster. There he is. The hero of Coruscant. Welcome back, son. Coruscant is safe, but I had to destroy the planet prison and kill Tarnas. Yes, we've heard. We also know Tarnas was the son of Darth Angrel. The public comm channels are being flooded with threats from that maniac, vowing revenge! It's time we put an end to the Sith Empire. That would be reckless and unnecessary. The Empire has formally disavowed Darth Angrel's actions, saying he's gone rogue. It's a lie, but the Senate refuses to authorize a military response. 
for good reason. Neither the Republic nor the Jedi are prepared for another war. We would lose. Billions would die. And if the enemy turns our weapons against us, billions will die. Tarn has transmitted the details of all our top secret projects to his father. We trace that transmission to the planet Ord Mantell. Darth Angrel must have a base there. I need you to find it. If we catch him in his lair, we could end this crisis right now. I doubt Angrel's on that world, but his spy network certainly is. Master Orgus senses greatness in you, and so do I. This mission is yours. I'm going to. Master Kuwix left me here to help. Agreed. Take Kira. Train and protect her like she's your own Padawan. It's an important responsibility. I won't take lightly. We'll get to know each other. It'll be nice. I must inform the Council of these developments. Travel safely, young Jedi. May the Force be with you. All I've ever wanted was to protect the Republic. I was stationed here when the Empire attacked Coruscant. Saw the Jedi Temple destroyed. All those Padawans and Masters cut down. I started these weapon projects in their honor. We'll get those weapons back and use them to destroy the Empire once and for all. You understand? Good. I already have one of our best starships waiting for you at the spaceport. Your astromech droid is prepping it for takeoff. There's civil war on Ord Mantell. It's an O-fly zone. Dock at the orbital station there and contact me. Good luck. <laughs> So after all that, I still didn't get my mission reward, but I do get to get my new ship, guys. Oh my god, I already know what it looks like, but I'm still really, really excited for this new ship I'm about to get. It's beast, pretty, I really like it, it's pretty beast. And here we go. It looks pretty nice. My new master at last! I am C2N2, steward of this vessel. It is my extreme good fortune to serve you. Always happy to have another droid. My T7 unit has been invaluable. The T7s are a fine utility model. I am programmed to provide for your creature comforts. C2 series droids represent the latest advances in everything from starship technical maintenance to nutritional advice tailored for your specific organic needs. Welcome aboard this Corellian Defender class light -like corvette. It was custom built to offer a Jedi both first-rate combat performance and meditation amenities. Along with the usual accommodations, you'll find a secure captain's locker for storing valuables. Your bridge contains an ever-updating map of the galaxy. It's quite beautiful to look at. Priority alerts from the Republic Network are accessible at the Holonet console. Long-range communications are available via the Holo Terminal. And finally, the ship's intercom will inform your crew that you wish to meet. Do you have any questions, Master? If I think of anything, I'll let you know. Thanks for the tour, C2. 
My pleasure, Master. I do have a few final notes. As you can see, I am not equipped for physical danger. My function is to maintain the starship as your home away from home. I am happy to assist you with any non-hazardous task, of course. I pride myself on the utmost attention to detail. What do you consider a non-hazardous task? I am programmed to modify other technology. I can also perform long-range surveillance and diplomacy. I'm quite useful, I assure you. Whenever you are ready to depart, consult the galaxy map on the bridge. The ship's computers will handle the rest. You're not like most Jedi. That's a compliment. Master Jedi, on it. Flight Commander Jordan, Republic Navy. Afraid there's bad news from open space. The Imperial Armada is attacking Republic assets in secret, goading us into violating the Treaty of Coruscant. What's the Treaty of Coruscant? The peace agreement between the Republic and the Empire. Our scraps with the Imps need to stay away from major worlds. For now. Fleet Admiral Newman has authorized the formation of the Corps and Aegis, an elite attack squadron meant to break the Imperial offensive swiftly and quietly. If you're interested, I'd say you're more than qualified to join the squadron. I would be honored to fly with the Chorus and Aegis. Excellent, Master Jedi. As a defender of the Republic, your call sign shall be SHIELD. Every member of the Chorus and Aegis will strike independently across the galaxy. I'll upload your mission data to your ship. Silence the Imperial threat and guard the Republic well. Come in, Coruscant Control. Requesting permission to launch. Permission granted, Master Jedi. Coordinates to Ord Mantell have been uploaded to your Nava computer. Good hunting. So thank you guys for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed. You see my new lightsaber. I just got it, but it does not have very much room for any of the nice mods. It only has room for crystal mods. So tell me how you can fortify crystals and stuff so that you can make bigger you can make bet better crystals i'm gonna look up on youtube but yeah guys i really hope you enjoyed this video finally i get off of the starter worlds pretty much um coruscant and i get off of um what is the name of the place uh tython i will be returning back to them later 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 in the season way later but thank you guys for watching this video I hope you enjoyed. We defeated our first lord in this series. It's Lord Tarnas and his, like you heard earlier, his father's going to kill the Republic. Which is not going to happen because he got Lewandowski. He's about to come a base and feast on the stupid little noobs of the Empire. And until this garrison, sign out. I've got some more stuff to do and I'll see you after that. I'm at 2400 health and I'm ready to roll to Ormantel. So, ground rules? Master Kuwix let me do whatever, long as I wasn't in her way. Do what I do, and you'll be fine. We make it up as we go. Nifty. Question two, what's my job on the ship? Hate standing around, makes me antsy. Listen to the starship broadcast frequencies. If the enemy makes a move, I want to know about it. Thrilling work. But I'll take it. We'd better get moving. Let's go save the galaxy.
I've arrived at Ord Mantell. Perfect timing. I've just finished coordinating things with my man on the ground there. SIS agent Atau followed the enemy transmissions to a specific location planet side. He'll give you the full details. Your T-7 unit can interface with Darth Angrel's hyperspace data transceiver and download his communications. Take the droid with you. <laughs> Guess I'll be playing Dejarg against myself while you have all the fun. I'm ready to go, General. Take a shuttle to the surface and meet Agent Otto. Good hunting. Varsuth, we're out. I've visited my share of seedy ports, but this one's the seediest. Just as well I'm staying behind. I'll make sure nobody steals our landing thrusters. Take care of things here. We'll return soon. Have fun down there. <laughs>